good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. How's this for a rockin' morning hairstyle? Yeah. Um, I was reading this great script last night. So good. I love when someone sends me a script to read and it's actually good. Like I'm 60 pages in and I don't want to go to sleep. Uh, that's when I know that if executed properly, it'll be a great movie. Um, so what else is going on? I'm leaving for Miami tomorrow. Um, a couple of things going on there. Uh, what else? Okay. So let me get right into this. So my girlfriend, um, got divorced and she's been dating this guy and you know, she, I think in the beginning, a lot of times when you acquiesce to what the likes and hobbies are of the person you're dating, it feels um, very logical because you're so into the newness of the relationship. Um, and I think that in most cases, it's good to try new things, right? We all want to, we all want to be with somebody or hang out with friends or whatever, who enrich our lives. We want to be exposed to different experiences. Um, but over the last, like, I would say seven months of this relationship, my girlfriend, I don't really recognize her anymore. Um, she suddenly is like wearing Harley Davidson t-shirts and like, um, I don't know, going camping. And I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that you should not enjoy the things that the person you're dating enjoys. I'm just saying that in all the years I've known her, I've never known her to be interested in these things. So um, last night when she and I spoke, she said to me, you know, when can I see you? Maybe I could come to Birmingham. We could just go hang out. You know, we'll, maybe we could have, like drink a Cosmo and just sit outside. And I said to her, what's going on? She's like, I just feel like I don't recognize myself anymore. So I was teasing her and I go, maybe it's the Harley Davidson t-shirts. And she was like, exactly. And I'm like, what? She was like, exactly. She said, I feel like I am lost. Who am I? I am, I have committed completely to his world. He has not embraced any part of what I enjoyed or who I was. She said, and I so willingly gave up who I was to make this relationship work. Now keep in mind, he's not a bad guy, but she said, talk me through this because I don't understand why. And I said, well, I think sometimes when we like someone and we really want it to work, the women are a lot quicker to fold. We're a lot quicker to embrace whatever the man is bringing to the table because we are the nurturers and we just want things to go smoothly. And she was like, okay, listen to me. It is November and I have not bought one like knee high pair of boots. And I was like, what? I mean, this is my girl's got fashion sense for days. I was like, I'm sorry, what? She was like, yeah, I've been wearing like motorcycle boots. Nice ones, but still, who am I? I was like, I don't know. This is a crisis. She was like, <laughs> she was like, I, I feel like I wake up every day and I'm living in the life of someone else. Um, and so I was thinking about how many times in my own life I have sat through experiences that I had zero interest in. But here's the difference. Let me say this. I pretended to enjoy it for the sake of my significant other. That is the difference. I'm not, again, you're probably like, Jamie, it's normal to experience th new things when you're dating someone. Yes. It is normal to try new things. It is normal to say, okay, well, you like NASCAR. I don't 
like NASCAR, but I will go with you because it is important to you. It is different when you take on the persona and pretend to love a life that does not fulfill you because you want to make someone else happy. Hear me when I say, it is normal to try new things for the person that you love. It is not healthy to take on a new persona and live a lie and pretend that you are loving activities, religions, alcohols, whatever, a lifestyle for somebody else. If you have to pretend in your life because you want to make someone happy, you have moved so far away from who you are to be close to someone else. And that can never work long, time, long term because you can't run from who you are and what you like. Tastes change, political views change, football team allegiances change. I don't care how much I love you. I can never live a life pretending that I love the Mets. I, what? Oh, get over here. Oh, get over here. Oh, get over here. Uh, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you, Nugget. Good job, see? I told you you could do it. Did I tell you you could do it? Did I tell you you could do it? Cha, cha, cha. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of you. Hey! Good job, sister. Ow. Oh, okay. All right, let me finish. Let me finish coffee talking. Charlie, stay dry. Let me finish coffee talking. I'll be right out. Please. And I need a brush. Please. Um, okay, so let me wrap this up really quick because I got nuggets. Um, hear me. The willingness to try new things and step outside your comfort zone for someone you love, healthy. Becoming someone you no longer recognize and living a lie because you want to make someone else happy, not healthy. Do not move so far away from who you are to get close to someone else because life will not sustain that. Okay, it's hump day. I love you guys so much today. Have a great day.